DJ Pro AI has so many amazing built-in samples, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to record your own samples. So let's go over to Pro Mode because we have a bigger view of our samples. Now, it may look like this with our mixer section, so we're going to go over here to the right. This symbol is for our samples. And then if it looks like this, that means you are in your looper. All you have to do is press the sampler button down here. And here we are in our sampler. Now to change the packs, we could go down here to this drop down menu, choose all these different sample packs. But if we want to create our, our own sample pack, we could press this plus button here. And then now we have this complete blank slate with nothing there, no samples. Go down here to the pencil button. And then now we get these three dots. So if we press these three dots, and we are in the sample packs. So we're in the, we can choose our sample pack, chill, base up, and you can add your samples right there. So you can make your own custom sample pack from all of the sample packs that are already built in, or you could record your own. So to record your own, we're gonna press the three dots again. We're gonna go from where it says sample packs to my sample. And it may look confusing. It may look like it's hard. There's no, you may not be able to see where it says deck one and deck two but you have to scroll all the way up. So deck one, deck two. So tap and hold to record a sample. So I'm gonna press deck one to record. And now you see, we get this, recording not available while using songs from streaming service. So if you have a song from Tidal, Beatport, Beat Source, you are not gonna be able to record a sample from it. It has to do with copyright and licensing. You cannot record anything from streaming services but you can record if it's your own song, if you recorded something through an app like BandLab or even on the voice memos, and then you load it into a deck. So for this example, I'm using a song that I had made for me. So this is not from a streaming service. This is a song from my files. So now to record the sample, you're gonna press and hold whichever deck you wanna record. So for however long you're holding in the deck two or deck one button, it is gonna record the sample. So for this example, I'm just gonna do the beginning of this part. And now once it's record, it recorded, it'll go here to the bottom. And then now it is in the sample or box. And now our sample is in there. So it's that simple. You just have to press the record button for deck one or deck two. Now you cannot record any effects or anything. So let's try that again. So now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to have an echo on it. Kind of if I wanted to add an echo to my effects, to my samples, I'm going to add an echo to it. And now I am going to do the same thing. and record it and now there's an echo on. So now I'm going to record the sample while there's an effect selected. So we go up here, deck two. So you guys heard that it was recorded with an effect on. Now when I press the sample, it's the same thing as the first one. You cannot adjust the EQs, you cannot adjust the effects. There is a hidden secret hack to do this. And if you want to find out how to add effects to your samples, check out one of these videos up here. Thanks for watching.